How to add Google AdSense ads to your WordPress website or blog. That's what we're going to do in this video. What's going on everybody? My name is David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. So how do you add Google AdSense to your website and blog? So you have three primary options. The first one is Google Auto Ads. So Google Auto Ads is a relatively new feature from AdSense where you get one script, you put it in your website, and then Google Ads, Auto Ads displays ads across your entire website with ease without you having to do anything. And so Google Ads uses machine learning to best optimize the performance of your ads across your website, and it comes with a page exclusion feature, which is very helpful because when you first set up Auto Ads, it's going to display ads on your About page, your privacy policy, all these, every, every single page. And so I definitely suggest going into the a page exclusion feature and then just excluding specific pages like your home page, about page, contact page, etc. You don't need to be running ads on those pages. The next way is the way I personally like to do it, which is manually. And now some people who run ads think doing it manually is crazy. Maybe it is, but I like to take a high level overview of my website and then take a look at different pieces of content. So if I have a piece of content that's promoting Amazon Associates, I don't want to run ads. If I have a piece of content that's promoting some type of specific affiliate offer, I don't want to run ads. And so that's why I like to find those pieces of content that really can't be monetized in any other way beyond uh, offering AdSense ads. And that's basically why I like to do it manually. And then the last way is to basically use a WordPress plugin to display ads on your website. And the reason that's better is because it gives you a little bit more control over where the ads are displayed and how it looks on your website. Uh, I'm going to cover all three different ways in this video. So like always, make sure to check the links in the description description for any timestamps and let's get to it. Welcome to Google AdSense. So to get started with Google AdSense, you just have to apply. In order to apply, you have to have a website, has to be at least six months old, unique content, and then there's no traffic minimums and you have to be 18 years or older and you can only have one AdSense account per person or business entity. And so to apply, you just click on this big blue button that says get started. And then you have to fill out the onboarding process here to submit your website, your email address, and whether or not you want to get ads and suggestions to better optimize your website. And that's it. And so then your website will be in review and you'll find out via email if your application has been approved or denied. Yes, Google AdSense does reject applications. And if you ever have any issue, there's a very helpful AdSense community that you can join to ask questions. So just have to, all you have to do is search for like AdSense help. I've had websites rejected myself, websites that were getting 2,000 visitors a day and that were, would be a great fit for AdSense and they're rejected for like nonsensical content, for example, and it's like, what? And then it's like, I didn't touch the site, I didn't fix anything, and then I just reapply and then it gets approved. So it is actually a manual process. A person is going to look at your website. And so, you know, make sure to just don't have any glaring errors, don't have copied content, don't be don't be lazy, don't don't have anything, don't have anything that's like wrong. Just pay attention and fix everything as best you can. And if you feel like your AdSense application was rejected for no good reason, you should definitely just un and come over here to AdSense help and then ask a question about like how to better optimize optimize and improve your website to get uh, to get accepted into AdSense. And so basically that is it for how to get started with Google AdSense. Welcome to Google Auto Ads. So once you log into your account, you click on ads, you go to overview. Down here, you'll have your websites that are accepted into the Google AdSense program. And then here you have Google Ads. Let Google place ads for you. One piece of code and Google will automatically show ads in all the best places. Now, you may notice that you have this uh, warning up top here. Uh, I have this warning because uh, Edge of David, is, I removed it to a Google Sites, and so the text file is gone, uh, but it's still up into the program. So basically, what do you need to do? You need to add the TXT file to the root domain. So you just click on Fix Now, then you'll get an Ads TXT file. You just have to download it and upload it to the root domain. So for example, this is a Bluehost account. You just want to navigate to Advanced and find where it says your file manager. Go into your final ma file manager and go to public HTML, and then you want to click on upload and then upload the TXT file that you download from uh, Google AdSense. Now, auto ads. So basically, you just get one piece of code. You can copy and paste this code and then you take it and then you want to place it into your site. Where does it go? It can go anywhere, okay? Even a blog post, whatever. Uh, so I personally would recommend uh, installing a 
uh, plugin like headers and footers where you can just install code into all the headers or all the footers like you would with your Google Analytics code. Uh, so I personally would just like I have Themify, so I'm going to just add it to like the footer code if I want. And then I have one piece of code just in the footer. And then you have to enable auto add. So right in here we see auto ads are off. So to fix that, we have to click this edits. Now, once you click on edit, you have to turn auto ads on right here. And then once auto ads are on, you have your page exclusion feature there. And so we can click on manage. And then when you're here, this is where you can add specific pages that you don't want to show ads on, like your home page, about page, contact page, that sort of thing. So I personally like to use uh, AdSense uh, manually on specific pages that don't have an affiliate offer. So that's why I personally don't like to use Google auto ads because like I don't want to go through like 100 pages, 100 blog posts, and then maybe like 10 blog posts I want to run ads and then 90 I don't. And then I have to come in here and, and manually input 90. I'd rather just do it manually and input ads and keep track of where what you, URLs I put ads on. But that's just how I do it. But anyways, this is how you would do it for auto ads and this is how you would exclude uh, specific URLs. And it's very, very easy. And that is it. How to add Google AdSense ads manually to your website. So let's begin. So come over to ads, go to overview, and then click on buy ad unit. Now within Google AdSense, you have a few different options. You have display ads, which is the recommended ad unit. This is your most flexible ad unit. It displays images and text. In-feed ads are good for maybe integrating ads within your blog role. And article ads are basically native advertising that will try to blend in and match the site content. And then you have link ads, which are just hyperlink ads. Now you have to test this out because you're going to ask like, what's the best one? I don't know. Depends on your site, depends on your content, depends on where you put, place the ads, etc. So in general, I would recommend starting with display ads. Uh, you'll get you, that will typically be your best performer. Now, this is why I say I like to take a high level overview of my content, because like, for example, my Bluehost review content, like this kind of content where I'm promoting a web host, I'm trying to make money from affiliate commissions for web hosting. This one, Writers on Fiverr, this is promoting the Fiverr affiliate program. Seven excellent microphones, that's promoting Amazon Associates. So these pieces of content, I don't want them to be competing with ads because I typically can make more from promoting affiliate marketing. So this is why I like to do things manually and take a high level view and find content that's getting traffic, that's ranking, that's doing really well, but doesn't have a clear specific offer. So a great example would be something like this the 2020 theme. So this is just promoting the free theme. And my goal with this piece of content is to rank for like 2020 theme review, WordPress 2020 theme, etc. That's what I'm trying to go for. And so this kind of content doesn't have any clear specific way to be monetized because it's a video, I'm promoting a free theme, etc. So this is the kind of thing where I'd want to run ads. Now, I would recommend using like display ads, we'll do that. And then you have your ad size over here, you have responsive and fixed. I would leave it as responsive because that means the ad unit is going to change in size depending on the device the person is on. So if someone's visiting on a tablet or a phone, it's going to be a different size uh, depending on their device. And then these buttons up here just give you an idea of what the ad is going to look like. Okay, so for example, like vertical, like if you put this in the sidebar, like a widget in the sidebar, this is what will appear square like if you put this in your content this could be potentially what it appears and then just name your ad unit and then create it's not that complicated no so let's take a example here of my test uh, ad unit and then we'll click on copy ad snippet and then we'll jump back into the blog post and now in order to add the actual ad unit it is very easy to go to where you want to add click on the plus sign and then you want to type in html you want to use the custom html block then paste it in and then update and that's it and so that's how you go through it now you can add three ad units to a blog post that is it and so where do i recommend adding the ad unit i definitely would recommend keeping your ad unit somewhere like you use typically at the top of the website right here uh, off in the sidebar and i also often find that in the footer right here is a good spot for an ad unit 
Again, you can only display three ads manually at a time. So, you know, you, again, you got to test it out. And then if you do it manually, make sure to keep track of the URL, because then if you ever want to switch and you want to use auto ads, for example, or you want to use a plugin like I'm going to show you next, you don't want to have pages that have manual ads inserted and then be using auto ads, because that's just going to that's just going to make everything more complicated. You could run into issues with displaying too many ads or whatever. How to add Google AdSense ads via a WordPress plugin. Let's get to it. So how is this different from Google auto ads? Well, the main difference is that you have more specific control over what ads appear where. So for example, if you want to have like a display ad appear at the top of the blog post, then you want to have a link ad appear at the bottom of every single blog post, and then maybe an in article ad appear right in the middle of the blog post. You can do that with uh, various WordPress plugins, whereas auto ads, you just do it in auto in auto and auto ads takes care of everything for you. Okay, so anyways, I recommend using WP Quads if you want to go the uh, plugin route. So it's one of my favorite plugins for managing AdSense ads. And so just search for WP Quads, install, activate, you'll be presented with this screen. You can just click here, skip to go to settings. And then here are our settings. Okay. And now in order to add ad units is very simple. You just click on ads. Okay. And then right under here, for example, add one, you can have up to 10 units. And right here, you can add in anything you want. All you have to do is have the HTML. So any advertising program that you're a part of, if it, even if it's not AdSense ads, you can use this. Now I know you think, well, wait, don't I click on AdSense? I personally like using plain text because the AdSense ad is already responsive. And so I just like to put it in here with the HTML text and just leave the ad code in there. Next, you can just ignore all of this, the layout center. I would just personally have it set to center actually, uh, because I find that that works best. And then we come down here and then you just click on save changes. Okay. And that's it. That's literally it. So you just have to come in here. Then you click on the display ad that you want. You get your code. All, once you get your code, you just copy and paste the snippet into the ad unit of that you want to set. Okay, so now I have add one set to an AdSense ad, basically a display ad, uh, and that is it. And so you come over here and go to general position, and now you have a bunch of different positions, so like beginning of post, middle of post. So I went ahead and already assigned that ad to add one is assigned to the middle of the post. Now, what does that mean? Basically, Google or uh, this plugin is just going to wing it, <laughs> take a guesstimate of like what the middle of your blog post is. So, for example, uh, on this page right now, uh, I have it set to uh, blog writers on Fiverr. So we come down here. Basically, this is like the middle of the blog post. If you, you can tell by the bar right there. Now we have a nice responsive ad right in the middle. And that's basically what this unit does. Uh, so that's why you can set here and go to assign to the beginning post, middle, end, etc. So it's not going to be super accurate, but it just gives you an idea of like where you can add an ad unit. Okay, so that's basically how you could do it via this plugin. Now there are other plugins that I also like as well, and so one that I personally really like is. PRYCWP add custom content to post and page top and bottom. So you can just come in here and then you could put in like an ad unit here and we can just paste this in here. Then this will basically appear across the bottom of every single blog post on our page and only blog posts. That's why I really like this because it only affects the content on pages and or on blog posts. So you can add content to the bottom or the top with an, of an ad unit uh, just from this simple interface as well. And that's pretty much it. And so one other thing too that you can do is widgets. If you want to add a specific ad unit to the sidebar to do that and uh, WordPress is quite simple. So we just come over here to the sidebar. Then you just want to find where it says text and we drag and drop the text unit. Then boom, make sure to click on text and then paste the code there. You don't want a visual. You just want it as text and then click save. And that's another way that you can add uh, an ad unit to the sidebar of your site with ease. And so basically that's it for how you manage with a plugin. OK, so you just it's very simple. You just set ads to different ad units and then under general position, you can assign the ad to where you want it to appear. You can use something like PRYC to make content appear at the bottom of every single blog post widgets. Uh, if you want to add you add units manually to your sidebar, etc. It's very easy. And then I just recommend just testing everything out to see what works best for you. Okay, that's it for this video. My name is David WebsiteCreatePro.com. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.